Well, then on the inside, I heard this voice say, now, if you really, if you believed you was healed, you'd act like it. Well, see, now I'm a growing now. I'm a growing. I need to act like it. Well, I wasn't acting like it. What was I acting like? I was laying there acting like I was sick. I was acting just like I was sick. He said, if you really believed it, you'd act like it. Well, praise God, I, I jumped up off of that couch, and I tell you what, I didn't get across my living room till every symptom was gone. And I just said, Lord, I thank you, yes, that by your stripes I'm healed. And every symptom was gone. Well, what was that? Well, the devil's going to come in and try to bring things into our life if we let him. But on the other hand, we're going to have to believe God through his word and, and, and uh, apply that to our lives. And if, it, and if it takes resisting the devil, then resist him. Say, I resist you. No, I am the healed. Jesus bore that for me. Praise God. I tell you what, it'll cause you to overcome. Amen. It will cause you to overcome. And you need to watch what you say. You know, if, if the devil's trying to destroy your life in some means, you know, some of those things are just temporary. You know, they'll be gone in a few days more than likely. But see, if you don't start right there, how are you going to fight anything else? How are you going to fight something big and receive from God if you don't start receiving from the small things like that? Amen. And watch what you say. Don't start speaking all this old doubt and unbelief about things. Uh, speak what God says about you. Speak what this word says. I have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. I am blessed. Praise God. I'm the seed of Abraham. I'm blessed with faithful Abraham. Praise God. The Bible says, if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I'm a, I'm a heirs. This, this, this belongs to me. The blessing belongs to me. I'm an heir of it. Praise God. It's ours. It's, it belongs to us. Praise God. Healing belongs to us. Every, everything that comes under the heading of salvation belongs to us. We have been seated in heavenly places with Christ. We're not down here on our own, just barely getting along and just treading through this old world and, you know, just like have the weight of the world on our back and, and you know, just a struggling around. That's not who we are. That's, that's what some people have portrayed, but that's not who we are. That's just because they don't know. They don't know what Jesus did. They're putting their confidence, they're putting their faith in something else in what they think or what someone's told them. Well, we can't do that. We're going to have to put our confidence in what God's Word tells us. Now, we may have to turn a deaf ear to what peop some people are saying. Praise God. And if you need to, do it. Because I tell you what, regardless of anybody, regardless of me or anybody else, this Word is true and it's going to be true whether I say it is or whether I don't. I can't defend this Word. I'm not come to defend it. It'll take care of its own. But I've come to preach it. I've come to tell you that it is the truth. And if you don't believe it, then you'll be believing something else. I'm not going to believe anything else. I don't care what they're saying. And I don't care if they've been preaching it all their life. It makes no difference. If it don't line up with this word, I'm sorry. It's not for me. And I wish you would feel the same way. <coughs> Say, now, listen, I, I heard some things, and, and you need to question some things in your heart. Is this the Word of God? Is it the will of God? Now, if it's something good, then it's more than likely from God. And if it's not bad, and it just strikes old doubt in you, and, and you, 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 you can't have confidence in God, you can't... You don't, it, it, it puts a not knowing on the, on the inside of you. It's not from God. If it's one of these things you can't never tell, God may or he might not, look, you might as well to quit fooling around with that stuff. 
Well, God will heal you if it's in his will. What is that? What is that? Who in the world are you to say something like that when this word declares that by his stripes we were healed? Who in the world are you to just rise up right out of everything that God said and say, well, now if it's so, look, this is the will of God. It's just like this little head rising up right out of the body of Christ and right out of the word of God and said, well, now if, it sounds like something the devil would do to me. I'm not calling you the devil, but it sounds like something he'd do. When he says, by your stri- by his stripes you were healed, and somebody says, well, now if it's the will of God, well, that sounds like something the devil would say to me. That don't sound like something God would say. Amen. Now, don't get mad at me, but I'm just telling you the truth this morning. It is what God says. It makes all the difference.